Circling trees, kissing the breeze, maneuvers made with such an ease. Dive down low, rise up high, tiny drone, conquer the sky. Welcome to the third part of the video. In this video we will cover the software setup part. Beta Flight Configurator is a cross-platform software tool that allows pilots to configure and fine-tune their drones equipped with Beta Flight firmware. The software provides an intuitive interface for adjusting a wide range of settings, including PID tuning, flight modes, motor direction, and more. Through a USB connection to the drone's flight controller, users can also update firmware, monitor real-time sensor data, and conduct pre-flight checks to ensure optimal performance. The first thing to check is the direction of the motors. To check motor direction in Beta Flight Configurator, first connect your drone to your computer via a USB cable and open the Beta Flight software. Navigate to the motors tab and, after removing all propellers for safety, use the sliders to manually spin each motor one at a time. Observe the rotation direction of each motor and compare it to the expected direction based on your drone's configuration. If a motor is spinning in the wrong direction, you can reverse it using either the software options in the configuration tool or by swapping two of the motor's three wires on its escape. Electronic Speed Controller We see that motor number one is turning in the wrong direction and it is necessary to change its direction. We will use Escape Configurator website to change motor direction. First connect your drone's flight controller to your computer and navigate to the web-based Escape Configurator. Follow the website's instructions to read the current escape settings, which usually involves clicking a read button to fetch data from your ESCs. Locate the option for changing motor direction, usually labeled as motor direction or similar, and select the reverse option for the motors you need to change, then write these settings back to your ESCs to complete the process. The next item is setting the ports. To set up ports in Beta Flight Configurator, navigate to the Ports tab. Here, you'll find multiple UART, universal asynchronous receiver slash transmitter, interfaces where you can assign functions like serial RX for your receiver, telemetry, GPS, or VTX control. After making the appropriate selections for each UART based on your drone's hardware setup, click save and reboot to apply the changes and initialize the settings. USB VCP Virtual COM port, refers to the communication interface that allows the flight controller to connect and communicate with a computer via a USB cable. It would be best if you did not change anything in that part. Since we connected the receiver to UART1, it is necessary to select Serial RX for that UART. Then we bound VTX to UART2 and therefore we have to select VTX, DBS Smart Audio, peripherals for that UART. To check if your receiver is working, navigate to the receiver tab. If the receiver is functioning and properly connected, you should see real-time changes in the channel bars corresponding to your transmitter's stick movements and switch positions. If this is not the case, then you have chosen the wrong options for receiver mode or serial receiver provider. Check on the official website which parameters correspond to your receiver. The next item is modes. To set up modes go to the modes tab. Here, you can assign specific transmitter switches to control various flight modes, such as arm, angle, or acro, by selecting the desired function and setting the corresponding O channel that you've mapped on your transmitter. After making your selections, click save at the bottom of the page to apply these settings, and test the switches on your transmitter to confirm they activate the intended modes on the drone. OSD stands for on-screen display, a feature in many drones that overlays real-time telemetry data, such as battery voltage, altitude, and flight time, directly onto the pilot's video feed. This allows the pilot to monitor key flight parameters while flying, enhancing both the flight experience and safety. To change the on-screen display, navigate to the OSD tab within the software. Here, you can select which elements you want displayed on your FPV feed, such as battery voltage, fly time, or RSSI, and you can drag and drop them to your preferred screen location. After configuring the OSD to your liking, click save to apply the changes and update the OSD settings on your drone. A VTX table is a configuration file in Betaflight that defines the channels, frequencies, and power levels supported by your specific video transmitter. This table allows Betaflight to correctly control the VTX settings, ensuring you're broadcasting on the correct frequency and adhering to local regulations. 
to add a video transmitter table. First download the appropriate VTX table file, usually in JSON format or list of commands, from the manufacturer's website or community repositories. Navigate to the video transmitter tab. Click on the load from file button and select the downloaded JSON file to import the VTX table into Betaflight. Or if you have text file then execute as commands in CLI. Once the table is loaded, click save to store these settings, enabling you to select channels and power levels according to your specific VTX hardware through Betaflight. As you can see, the direction of movement of the drone in the configurator is different from the real one. We will solve that by flipping the gyro. Flipping the gyro in beta flight configurator is often necessary when you've installed the flight controller in a non-standard orientation, such as rotated or flipped, to fit within a specific drone frame. Adjusting the gyro settings ensures that the drone's sensor data aligns correctly with its physical orientation, allowing for stable and accurate flight. Thank you for tuning in and spending your time with us. We appreciate your support and hope to see you again soon.